I'm Ash Sohn. Um, I'm here in my windmill studio in Norfolk, um, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Shaw Drum Mastery Competition. So guys, if you're a drummer out there and you're thinking about this whole fantastic world of recording, I think the Drum Mastery Competition is, is, a, is a great way for you to start that journey. People are asking me, you know, what am I going to look for uh, regarding the videos that you guys are going to send in. If you know me as a drummer, I'm not really a chop-based drummer, so chops aren't going to impress me much. But, you know, a, a good feel and a good sound, actually, or as good a sound as you can get. And I'll, you know, I will take into consideration how you've recorded it. So if you've got two microphones, obviously I'm not going to go, oh, that doesn't sound very good. He's only got two mics. I, I will judge the sound on those two microphones. If, if you know what I mean. So basically, if you've got one mic and it sounds pretty cool, then straight away you're you're going to be in my my top list of, of guys, I guess. Start to understand how one mic works on the drum kit. Where do you put it? What does it sound like when it's lower down on the floor over there? What's it sound like right above the kit? What's it sound like behind you? Experiment with it. Um, and you might find you get a really funky sound if it's kind of tucked in the corner of your bedroom or something, I don't know. You know, if that's the beauty of it, is like you, you can experiment um, with just one or two mics. You know, the, the sky's the limit. You can start with one SM57 and end up with a whole set of mics and a room and a, hopefully a reputation that people want you to record on their records. Go for it. To carry on, really talking about the, the 57, it's um, this is what it sounds like, kind of in the in the in the right position for the snare drum. And uh, what I what I was saying, if you just buy that one mic, what does it experiment? What does it sound like in different places? And we've got the fantastic Jack here from Shaw is going to demonstrate. Just going to move the microphone around in a few different places. So this is kind of like a classic mono position overhead. Um. But it sounds like there, and then another position would be, that's a really cool position to maybe pick up the bass from a bit more. And then the final position is maybe just outside of the kit there. And here we go. Cool. So that's just one mic. That's what it sounds like. That's the beginning, hopefully, of your recording journey and just experiment. You could obviously stick that microphone down on the ground. There might be a bit more bottom end somewhere in your room. But yeah, experiment, have fun.